All right, continue. Awesome. All right, welcome to Lifestyle Linear. Um, I think you are the 47th episode. So thank you for being on. Today we have Isabel, and I'm gonna hand it off to her to introduce herself. Hi, I'm Isabel. Um, I am the project coordinator and social media manager for the Commons, which is an initiative of the Greater Milwaukee Committee. Um, so life is not linear for sure. <laughs> um, I moved to Milwaukee right after graduating from eighth grade in Madison. Um, so that was kind of like the like the first big like challenge you know like I think I had in my life um up until that point um yeah and I mean moving to a city where you don't know anyone and like you're going into a high school where you don't know anyone like it can be kind of tough but I think that that was like definitely like a critical character development moment for me where it's just like all right like I've got to figure out how to get along make friends and what I, I mean you know because for grade school, it's like you're with these people since you're like three years old and it's like, okay, yeah, everybody's my friend, like <laughs> you're a kid. Um, but sort of na navigating um, sort of like relationships and the politics of, of, of relationships and different social dynamics and all that stuff really, I feel like kind of starts in high school. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so then I decided to go to UWM because I just figured like, I've already done a big move. Like I don't need to go to a whole other new city and do this all over again. Um, so yeah, I started at Matt, or at UW Milwaukee, um, and I was kind of like in and out of school. Um, you know, two semesters on, one semester off, or something like that um, for quite a while. Um, I had I basically was just like waiting tables and. Um, you know, working in restaurants throughout that entire period of time. And I um, started as a server, moved up to a manager um, for within like the first two years of working there. Um, oops, sorry, my Slack, Slack's going off. Um, but that also too was like some of like some of the best and happiest times. Like just, I love working in a restaurant. My dad's a chef. Like I've grown up in the industry and it's just, there's something so fun about like running around and being in the weeds and like kind of getting your ass kicked on like a busy Friday <laughs> night and then, you know, like coming out of it alive and like, okay, I just made like 200 bucks. This is awesome. It's <laughs> such a fun um, feeling and you just get super, super close with the people that you work with. So at the North Shore Bistro, I, I made lifelong friends um, and then I started working at Camino um, in Walker's Point um, a couple of years ago and again was just like some of the best times just so so much fun um, and had a lot of great regulars um, one of uh, one of my most favorite regulars is now my current boss Michael Hostad so I kind of got to meet him there and we got to know each other um, and yeah I just got super lucky and um, worked at the, decided to work at the right bar slash restaurant mm -hmm. and um, it's I've kind of been outside of my comfort zone ever since but that's okay so that's kind of how I got to where where I am today <laughs> I love that and I love how much you like love and appreciate the service industry um, it just makes me want to like be a part of the service industry I know it's like it's pretty tough but at the same time, like the kind of family that you get from it, I feel like is invaluable. Yeah. Um, and, oh, sorry, go ahead. No, go ahead. Keep going. Um, I was, <laughs> thank you. I was just gonna say, um, yeah, it's one of those things where it's like, from my perspective, I have always loved taking care of people. Mm -hmm. And it's like, just, it's something that I feel comes very naturally to me. Mm -hmm. um, so being able to, you know, wait on people, people take care of people like have have like an impact in like their overall experience I think is just what like drew me to it and has made me just love it so that's great I can tell mm -hmm. you're always so nice to me <laughs> <laughs> um. <That's> pretty easy <laughs> do you mind if we go back and kind of touch on when you went to a new high school and how was that like transition for, for you you kind of talked about like the politics of new relationships and relationships in general. So I'm wondering how that went because high school is 
crazy time. Yeah. <laughs> um, sure. Yes. Yeah. So I went to um, Dominican High School, which is like a smaller Catholic school in Whitefish Bay. Um, and actually, I think we had like the smallest graduating class potentially in like the school's history high school with like 75 or 80 people. So like wow. not a lot of like, wasn't like that big, like what you see on TV, like high school is like, I did not <laughs> have an experience like that. Um, but yeah, so moving from a very white, very like suburbia kind of, you know, experience in Madison and then coming to a school that was incredibly diverse um, was definitely like a moment for me. It was like, okay, like people come from all different walks of life and like my bubble was popped like instantly. And I was just like, all right, like this is the, it was, it was awesome, but it was so like, it was, it's scary. Like you're mm -hmm. walking into a, a high school and like, there are all these like 18 year old people around and you're like 13, 14, however old you are. <laughs> um, so it was like scary, but, but, but good. And I think it just, again, really like helps sort of inform my character and the character that I continue to try to, you know, display. And it's like, you have to be able to get along with people. Like you're going to have, not going to look like the person sitting next to you. And that's a good thing. Like embrace that. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think like I, I have two friends, I think like super, super tight knit friends from, from high school that I'm still in touch with, but like, otherwise it's like, yeah, okay. Like that was an experience and it was great, but there's so much more like there's still, even now I'm like, there's still so much more to learn and do and, you know, experiment with and all of that. So it was definitely I'm so grateful to have that experience and have that kind of in my toolkit, I guess, just being able to say like, yeah, I did that. Like I went, went in knowing no one and left with like, like, you know, a, a class of people that I was close with. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, it was, it was good. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, I love your perspective on that. And definitely I wish my high school was like a bit more diverse. I feel, definitely I can see how it's scary because you just don't realize when you're in a room full of people that like look like you or have the same socioeconomic status as you, you just don't, you know, mm -hmm. you only see what's in front of you. So then when you go somewhere else, it is, okay. it's awesome, but even awesome things can be like scary. Um, so that's a great point. And then you said you went to UWM um, mm -hmm. and you said you were kind of on and off. What did, did you finish your degree? Did you want to do anything with it? How was your experience of higher education? <laughs> okay, great question. Um, I do not have a degree. Um, and family members will tell me to uh, wear that as a badge of honor, but that has created a significant amount of insecurities for me just in general, like literally going from pretty much waiting tables into like, a very powerful nonprofit within Milwaukee is like, whoa, like all of a sudden I'm in a room and I don't think I should be here. <laughs> like these people are so smart and they're so talented and experienced and you know, the list goes on. Um, I, it's not a regret that I have of not finishing the school and I do fully plan to go back um, and get a degree at some point in my life. Um, it's definitely a goal for me still. Um, but I, I studied journalism, advertising, and media studies. So I was in the jams school. Uh -huh. um, and I, you know, I had really great professors and all that. But like the reality of it is, it's like when you're paying for it, like it's, it, that makes it hard. It's, it's hard to be able to stay. Uh -huh. um, and I think what I would, my <laughs> advice would be to people, people who are graduating high school right now, like take a beat, like take a year, take two years and you don't need to rush into college. Like that, I think is one of my biggest regrets was just rushing in, didn't know what I wanted to do. Like I probably changed my major four times before settling in jams. And now at 29, I'm like, 
yeah, I would go to school for something different. <laughs> so yeah. um, I would just say be, be mindful of that. And like, you, you can, there's, there's something to be said for like learning outside of a classroom for sure. Like, you know, you get a, get a job that you don't, you don't really know anything about, like what, whatever it is that will teach you more probably <laughs> than some, than, you know, a semester of classes truly. Um, so yeah, col um, yeah, I mean, college was, was good. It was just, you know, I, like I said, I didn't make a big move. So it, you know, I didn't move to a new city or whatever. Like, so it kind of almost felt like not real in, in a weird kind of way. Mm -hmm. Um, and it was like, okay, like, I'm just going to do this thing because that's what I'm supposed to do. And yeah, again, I think I just would advocate for people to like slow down. It's, it's okay. You don't have to rush, rush, rush to be like the first in line for this or that or whatever, like be, be thoughtful, like be, be reflective. Um, and just talk to people, ask people questions, like make a list of pros, like ask someone to make a list of pros and cons about college and like, what was your experience like, whatever, you know, and, and really be able to like absorb that information and let it sink in before you run out and just make a huge <laughs> financially life altering decision. <laughs> yeah. No, I wish, yeah, definitely. I wish I would have put just more saying. thought into college and more on the finances before I was like, Oh yeah, I graduated high school time for college. Like time for a little debt. Still had a lot of great experiences, but <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's awesome. I think, yeah, I must, I can see how it could be tough to kind of wear that as a badge of honor, but I mean, your life experiences, I feel like, like you said, are insurmountable. It's like you learn so much from just experiencing life. Um, mm -hmm. So, was that, so going from, being in the service industry and then Michael kind of talking to you about working for the commons, like, was that a hard leap to make? Yeah, actually it was. Um, and I remember specifically like having a conversation with my mom about it, who like is the most incredible human being on the planet, like so smart and just amazing. So I remember going to her and just being like, I'm really hesitant to like, make this leap like I don't <laughs> I truly don't really know what I'm doing um you know and for a while it's like you kind of think like what what have I done to, to show you that that it's worth a gamble it's worth taking a risk on someone um I'm so grateful that he did take that that little gamble um I think it's paying off <laughs> but you'll have to double check with him <laughs> um but yeah, I, I, it was, it was hard. I think I, I, so I started as like a, a contract worker. So I was only working part-time and I was able to still be waiting tables at Camino and babysitting, you know, just what I had to do to make ends meet. Um, and so I think that having, having one foot in like sort of the corporate world and then one foot in like my comfort zone of like, waiting tables in the service industry and knowing I can, knowing I'm, I'm good at that, um, was definitely very helpful. Um, and then <laughs> three months later, they're like, yeah, come on full time. And I was like, okay, like, this is great. I have health insurance now. Like, <laughs> this is amazing. I'm growing up. Um, but yeah, so it, it's still one of those things where like, I still, I still feel the same way I did when I started, mm -hmm. um, to a lesser extent. And of course, but Welcome to the world of like anxiety and panic attacks and like I'd never experienced that really before until <laughs> until now. Mm -hmm. um, but we always like get comfortable with being uncomfortable, um, yeah. and I truly lived that um, a lot. And I'm, it's kind of funny now. I'm just like baptism by fire is the only way I want to learn. Like I've learned that about myself throughout this process. So mm -hmm. no, no baby steps. Just like okay, just throw me in. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, <laughs> that is my fire. Yeah, I feel like I'm the same way too, whether I like it or not, but it's like, I'm probably not going to baby step or look at it even unless you like throw it at my face. Uh, that's just who I am. <laughs> mm -hmm. But yeah, that's great. So could you talk a bit about 
the commons in general and then um, a little bit about what you do at the commons? Yeah. Um, so yes, at the commons, we, um, we believe in the power of people and we're really working to um, create a vibrant ecosystem of talented, driven, motivated um, people here in, in the Milwaukee region. Um, so we've, you know, our sort of flagship program um, was the Skills Accelerator. And then when uh, COVID-19 hit, we pivoted <laughs> um, and we created this virtual uh, summer internship program to sort of help with with help students who had been impacted by COVID-19. Um, and like you said, um, at the beginning, you know, internships were canceled. <laughs> Higher ed is like on fire right now. Like they don't <laughs> yeah. know what they're gonna do. Um, which, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's, it's crazy that, you know, you've got Harvard charging the same tuition for a completely virtual experience now. It's just, it's, I don't, it's crazy. I don't get it. Um, but go Harvard, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not trying to knock Harvard. Um, but yeah. So anyways, back to the comments. <laughs> um, so yeah, <laughs> we um, are in our sixth year of really connecting and developing talent. Um, we've also partnered with um, Milwaukee and, and Startup Milwaukee um, on the, the collab programming, uh, which is a civic accelerator for uh, professionals, you know, within the Milwaukee region who not only are you, are you getting those entrepreneurial and innovation skills, but you're also, you know, solving a civic challenge or problem, which um, is awesome. Um, Milwaukee is not short <laughs> on problems, uh, to be honest, but um, and then we've also partnered with the Tech Hub um, Coalition as well. Um, and we're a cultural intern program. And then our program, um, that was last, I don't even know if that was last year. Like, I can't remember. But that was um, a very tech-focused accelerator, um, again, for, you know, students or professionals within the Milwaukee area. So that, that kind of a high, very high level, probably not even very good <laughs> description of, of the commons, but um, so yeah, my role within the commons, I kind of just grew into. So like I said, when I first started, um, I was just part -time on a contract basis and it was like, yep, like take care of our social media accounts, like order food, <laughs> you know, mm -hmm. do, do um, this sort of thing. And I've truly been so, so lucky to have Michael and Joe and Maggie because, like, talk about a team of people who want to see you succeed. Like, it is them 100%. And they have, they, they have done exactly what the Commons does for everyone. Yeah. Um, they've really, really helped me grow and nurtured my talents and um, given me space to, like, see what I like to do and kind of figure out where I fit within um the team and sort of just what my trajectory is going to look like you know um so yeah so now I'm kind of I help I help everywhere <laughs> um so whether that's fundraising um whether that's putting together materials for students obviously I'm still running um all of the social media platforms but I can't tell you how happy I am I don't have to order food anymore <laughs> like oh, we are Lord, done with that remote <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah oh my gosh that's so um funny. so yeah that's kind of yeah but we're certainly as a team we're all very hands on deck um and really for anything that we do to be successful like every single person has to play their role um and does play their role but it's very like anything we do is 98 percent of the time a result of like a team effort mm -hmm. Yeah, I definitely am biased because I worked for you guys twice. <laughs> but the Commons like like brings love and compassion and inspiration and education to the Milwaukee community and to its students um, and youth. So thank you. You guys are awesome. Those are the kind of words. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I have one last question for you. Um, okay. 
I guess you could go one of two ways. Um, I'm looking for like maybe a piece of advice, either something that you would like go back and give yourself, maybe when you were first in college or, um, or when you were leaving college, um, and something that you would want to share with students today, like a piece of advice that you think would help them out today. Okay, that's a great question. Um, I think, I feel like I maybe have been a little bit contradictory in some of my answers, um, mm -hmm. where I'm like, yes, baptism by fire, but don't rush into anything. <laughs> um, so I would say, I, I think I would say to my, my former self, say yes a lot more, like a heck of a lot more than, mm -hmm. than you did. Um, and also, like, do your best to collect perspectives from, from other people, like when you are about to make a big decision, like talk to as many people as you can, talk to people like, you know, your parents, best friend, boyfriend, girlfriend, whatever, um, boss, colleague, um, and just really be, be as thoughtful as you can at, of when, when you do make those, those big steps. And when you're taking a giant leap of faith, like make sure you've got a good support system who will catch you in the event that something does not go well. So those, that, that would be my advice. Awesome. I totally agree. Um, thank you so much for being on Life's Not Linear today. I love your journey. I always love catching up with you. And I think that you just like, you do so much and that you're, I always feel like there's just so much more that you're about to do as well. So I'm excited. That is so sweet. Thank you so much. And I did, I like have never really done anything like this before. So this is the first for me. So thank Heck you yeah. for giving me that opportunity. No problem. You <laughs> just jumped into it. I'll catch you though. I got you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> awesome.